So my beautiful hell divers, I am back with another video and today guys, we check out some of the latest leaks around this game, including some brand new weapons, some absolutely incredible OP looking stratagems, new samples which could coincide with new maps and much, much more. Now the winner of yesterday's 2100 super credits is Keeper of Rocks 4618. If you're watching this video buddy hit me up on my discord link down below to claim your winnings. Now do you guys want to win 2100 super credits? It's quite simple. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below. Winner will be announced on tomorrow's How Divers 2 video. Okay so let's get into it guys and first things first let's check out some of the new stratagems we've seen leaked over the past day or so now remember guys spoilers lay ahead if you don't want to be ruined by future content leave the video right now okay so going through reddit i come across a post by 21 i supreme i21 so full credit to this dude he dropped a video over on youtube which i'll link down below if you want to check it out and go through it yourself where he showcased plenty of new weapons which you're seeing on screen now him going through them some of these are currently in the game but some of these are brand new not in the game as of right now and while we have seen leaks of these over the past few days i'm not gonna lie so i'm gonna go through every single one of these again i mean i think that's pretty pointless now I think the majority of players who have been into these leaks have seen what's mostly on offer here or at least seen screenshots of them or seen their names mentioned here there and everywhere it is good to see rolling gameplay footage of these in game though uh, so yeah that's what we're seeing on screen now but again this video is going to be speeded up again you can slow it down if you want to it's completely up to you or you can check out the original source link down below but yeah plenty of new weapons coming guys some of these look sick as heck i cannot wait to get my hands on them pretty cool so let's move on guys to new stratagems again over the past three or four days we have seen plenty of leaks in regards to new stratagems coming to the game we've seen a bit of gameplay here there and everywhere on them too in regards to that new auto cannon mech which looks pretty cool but i have heard from a few sources it seems a little weak too but hey who knows until we get our hands on it but the most terrifying one i have seen is this one you're seeing on screen now the carpet bomb now credit to lighthouse over on reddit who's the first i believe to actually upload footage on this this thing looks terrifying in many many ways i mean just check this out guys so what you're seeing here is obviously calling the strategy you chuck it to where you want it to be now it takes about 10 to 15 seconds it seems i actually counted this to uh call in but once you do, you'll see three planes fly above you and they drop up to 30 different bombs lighting up an entire area. What is this all about? This is a crazy amount of power for a stratagem. This is going to take a lot of leveling to get this unlocked. They ain't giving this to anybody, people. This thing is dangerous, not only for the enemy, but your entire squad too. There's no wonder... There's a, such a delay on this being cooled down because imagine you threw this in. It takes like five seconds to drop. You're wiping out your squad. You're terrorizing their reinforcements. This thing is utterly brutal. This is by far the best and most OP stratagem I think I've seen in the entire game. Now, obviously, it's still a placeholder item within the game files. It's probably ready for release, but it isn't coming as of, well, they've not announced it. But it's definitely in the game. It's in fully working order. These modders are taking it and bringing it into the game and using it. And it deals serious, serious damage as you're seeing from the footage, guys. Uh, so it's ready. But they may adjust this. I do not know. Um, they're going to obviously drop it into the game. They're going to get feedback on it anyway. It may be adjusted. It may not. Who knows? But this looks terrorizingly fun to use. But terrifying at the same time. You know we're going to be looking like this when we hear that carpet bomb is coming in. Okay, so going back to Supreme's video that he posted, uh, we covered his weapons earlier. He also posts new stratagems too with a bit of gameplay. He firstly goes through the stratagems. Some of these are completely brand new. Uh, we don't know what these are. We haven't had these in game as of yet, but they're interesting to go through and check out. So firstly here, guys, we see, well, we actually see quite a few here, new ones anyway, but I want to talk about this one here. The Eagle air to air missiles aspect seeking air to air missiles to eliminate most flying targets in the vicinity now last night over on twitter we got the ceo dropping hints about 
flying bugs and bugs don't fly. We've seen leaks over the past few days in regards to the Illumina, a new enemy faction. Well, I say new, new to Helldivers 2. It was already in Helldivers 1. But we also saw those flying creatures too. New enemies come into the game. Now, it's obviously clocked onto this. It's the le these leaks are absolutely everywhere, being shared all over Reddit, all over YouTube, all over Twitter. It's clocked onto these, and it's obviously just trolling. It's obviously just being sarcastic. And when we see stratagems like this in game, we know that they are coming. Also, coincides with this image I saw over on Twitter last night from How Divers 2 updates. It says flying bugs are in game now. They are called shriekers. Now we heard about these in the game files quite a long time ago. Um, but what I will say is I haven't been on How Divers today or from early last night. My PC threw itself a tantrum, uh, and every time I try and load up a game, including Power World. It shits itself. So yes, I'm just trying to get that sorted. I'll be back into the game. So can you confirm this? I don't know what this is all about. I haven't seen these from the last time I played it. But hey, let me know down below. Are these streakers real? Are they a thing? Is this guy trolling? I do not know. But either or, we now have stratagems to deal with these air uh, monsters. So that's cool. We also see this one, which is really, really interesting. The offensive stratagem permit of reinforce a replacement for a fallen comrade. Now, the details as I've looked are few and far between on this one. I mean, obviously, we have the standard reinforcements. Um, is this a different thing? Is this someone just getting confused at what files they're putting that and putting into their own game? I mean, it's interesting to see, but with that six second cooldown time too and unlimited uses, um, I'm not too sure this is a separate stratagem that you can equip within one of your slots and use in game because obviously within those harder difficulties a lot of the time those reinforcements uh, get used out quite quickly and having something like this which you can use I'm not too sure guys but let me know what you think down below I could be completely wrong I could be reading this wrong but let me know we also see this right here, the BX7 displays a pack, a portable teleportation device which activates the moment before the user will take a potentially fatal blow. Now this um, we have seen in the data files before, I haven't actually seen rolling footage of it in game but it's interesting to see too. Now I have heard of many many modders trying to use this in game and it just crashes their game so as of right now there's no gameplay footage of it whatsoever. Now we see this, which is, I've actually got gameplay of this as well. You'll see it on the screen now. The XO49 Emancipator Exosuit, a heavily armored walking exosuit equipped with dual auto cannons. This is what I talked about earlier on in the video. The same exosuit, many, many people said who have played with this thing, said it feels a little bit uh, glass cannony. So yeah, we'll see. We will see. Now we also see this thing here too, which isn't something I've seen in game before. The MLS 4 times Commando. An expandable missile launcher equipped with four laser guided rockets. That sounds pretty cool. It's actually got a relatively short cooldown time too. So that's pretty good. We see the MG206 heavy machine gun as well. A very powerful but difficult to wield machine gun with intense recoil. Badass. Now we also see this right here, the medical supplies stratagem. So this is actually an icon we saw that was released a couple well data mines a couple of days back now and a few people were confused about it seems as though it's a supply strategy and permit of medical supplies so that's good to know too now we also see the st1 stinger a single use target seeking anti-aircraft missile launcher must be locked onto a target before firing badass guys that what we like to see we see this ms220 missile solo a halpod sized missile solo for long range destruction includes a remote to select a target and initiate launch. We also see the recon vehicle too which we knew was coming into the game as well as the APC vehicle too. Again we've seen gameplay of these quite a lot now so yeah. Now moving on and this one orbital illumination flare. A flare that illuminates the battlefield. Interesting to think about the many scenarios this could come in useful. Uh, scenarios to come to. Now the EM-105 defense wall we've seen previously and we've also seen the trench wall too. So yeah, we know these are definitely coming to the game. Pretty badass people. Okay, so we'll move on and a couple days back now, I actually covered this in the video yesterday. We saw new icons for new samples that are coming to the game. Now we didn't know if these were new or old, but what we've seen now is and what we found now is brand new audio files in regards to new 
samples now yes so there's new ones coming and the audio files you're seeing on screen now we're not seeing the audio files but basically what they state uh crystallized e710 acquired black saffron harvested high value sample collected biological sample collected tech sample collected legendarium acquired uh, uranium acquired rare sample collected i think rare sample uh, and sample collected are already in the game but another random audio piece he states legendary iridescence now i don't know what these mean in regards to legendary here and legendarium uranium i mean there's plenty of interesting things here to talk about but what are these samples going to be used on what are they going to be for we just do not know now we know through previous leaks and data mines that we're gonna get ship upgrades we're gonna well what's thought to believe weapon upgrades via weapon attachment icons that have been leaked in data mined and with the many new planets believed to be coming to the game uh which you're seeing on screen now guys a lot of these are old but a lot of these are brand new and they ain't in the game yet it's interesting to theorize where said materials are coming from when they'll be included into the game what they'll be in currency for what will we get in return for collecting and spending these and using these we just do not know but yes yeah, seriously interesting to think about guys but do let me know your thoughts down below and on that note we have come to the end of the video and guys if you enjoyed leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see once more uh, how divers be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one